Hello everybody out there on the internet, I'm the Toaster, and today we're going to react to NF Real, continuing on our journey through every song of every album. I think we're halfway through therapy session at this point, and you know, as always, it's a heavy album this one, but it's a lot more personal, or it's a lot more of a look into who he is for me personally, that's how I feel about it, while Mansion was a bit more aggressive about how upset he is so i'm wondering if it's going to continue on those themes and i'm also wondering what the next album is going to be like now i know that's a bit off topic but you know it's as always it feels like a while since i've done an f but it hasn't been it's been like two days maybe so i'm excited to get into it um, i've got the official video today which i'll pull up right now and i've also got the lyrics over here and i probably need them because i've heard this is a pretty you know just straight to the point fast song so, wish me luck. We're going to get to it. In three, two, one, let's kick it. Yeah. Real music. Yeah. Mm. Nice piano, yeah. simple. Somebody get the body bags. We're going with the beats in them now. Put the MCs in them. Season them. Put them on a beat with me, then I'm eating them. Get away from the table. You rappers ain't hungry enough. You rappers ain't hungry like us. They talk about me like I'm here. They talk about you like you was. Whoa. A nurse came into my room. She told me I'm sick in the head. I'm in hip hop. Hospital bed with a bed and a pen and a press on my neck. They told me that. I'm never leaving. Why? I am as ill as it gets. Any rapper that said it, they run in the game. I'm a coming in session and cut off their legs. Okay, yeah, he's gone too hard, too hard. Um, so he's got, you know, he mentions a lot of time how that he kills beats. You know, he's killing the beat. So he said, let's get some body bags for these beats. And also, you know, the other MCs, pretty much. He's calling out the competition. So I presume he's talking more to maybe the new generation or at least people who think it's all about wealth and fame rather than an f who does it for therapy for himself pretty much um you know he says rappers ain't hungry enough not hungry like us hungry for i guess maybe success because you know he obviously wants to get far like i don't know if he wants you know massive fame okay but he definitely wants to be heard and that's what i believe he means by hungry and lastly, there was that nice line about he's too ill to leave the hospital. Um, ill as in, you know, dope. And obviously, if you're too sick, you can't leave a hospital. Okay, you know, he's just pretty much saying what he thinks about, I guess, maybe how he's treated, you know. Maybe he's not taken seriously. You know, he's passionate about his music and he's saying, no one's doing it like I do it. Then, yeah, Mansion was a heavy album. You know, it was gritty. So he's got that on his side. And he mentions, you know, Russian Roulette. Uh, uh, sorry, Russian Roulette. Um, pretty much just telling you to maybe kill yourself. He's saying you've got a better chance of playing Russian, like winning Russian roulette, than beating me in the booth, pretty much. Believe 
you know, cutting off the ladder, they're falling. And, you know, when you're falling, you like, you go like about to try and reach and he's like, I'll high five you while you're falling pretty much. Um, instead of grabbing his hand, he's going to high five you, which some people might want back. Let's be honest. A sick high five is pretty dope. Bye. What you looking for? A high five? Nice try. Do not believe everything that you read on the internet. I do not know where your tennis is, but he should clean out your mouth. Don't call me a seller. That's something I never been. I've been through hell in my life, though. But I know what heaven is. Father, forgive me, for I am a sinner. But you gave me music as medicine. Woo! And nobody want to pile when I get in my zone, but it leave me be. I'm a mean MC. Better feed me rappers or feed me beats. Ah, feed me both of them. Mmm. Feed him rappers. Feed him beats. I think this is mostly talking about... So from... Sorry, I'm going to speak English. From what I can tell, this is mostly about, like, a message to, I guess, the haters that he has. The ones who think he's not doing it properly or he's not good enough, stuff like that. So that's the whole vibe I'm getting. It's a very aggressive um, call-out sort of song. But no chorus, I don't think. So maybe maybe I was wrong about you know therapy session just being very personal deep things, but then again I guess I guess it can be because maybe he feels really deeply about what others think of him, which I'm sure he does. When I get in my zone, but leave me be. I'm a mean MC. Better feed me rappers or feed me beats. Ah, feed me both of them. They like nay. What's it like to be famous? Um, I'll let you know if I make it. Yeah, I wonder what life would be like if I didn't. He's famous. Come on, he's hip fam. Um, I'll let you know if I make it. Yeah, I wonder what life would be like if I didn't stick on my neck. Two hundred dollars inside of my bank account. Woo! I was living on that. I need some money to pay for my rent. I need some money to pay for my gas. I'm not complaining. I'm just being honest. I promise that I wanna beg for respect. Nah. I get so frustrated. Take a look at what I created. Time is wasting. I ain't waiting. I'm a doctor with no job. Me, I don't have no patience. I keep pacing. Back and forth. Mmm, mm, these bars, I'm just like I'm getting them delayed, you know, when I hear them, it takes me a moment to process them, but he said, um, I'm a doctor with no job, I don't have no patience, and you know, a doctor who doesn't have a job doesn't have any patience, P-A-T-I-E-N-T-S, so, patience, patience, mmm. No patience, I keep pacing back and forth. I keep racing. You ain't never been in my book, and I got a problem with it. Why? Cause you're acting like you read my pages. Wreck these stages. Real talk, but they give me space. Cause I am chasing something they told me that I won't make it. Yeah, I'm not famous, I'm just Nathan. Woo! Yeah. And he says that, you know, he says, like in therapy session, he said, um, uh, what do you say? He said, like, he writes about stuff he's going through. Um, it's something that helps him. So he's, you know, he's not writing because he's famous, he's running because he's Nathan, and he doesn't think he's famous yet, and I would disagree, or at least as of now, he might not have been as famous with this album, but he's definitely reached that level, I believe, personally. If God isn't real, real isn't. That's so sick. You know, at least he's got his faith. Um, he always mentions, you know, brings up God a lot. And what I like about it is in the very first, I think it's, yeah, in the very first couple words in the Bible, which I think is Genesis, um, it's in the beginning, God created heavens and earths and everything like that. And he's saying, pretty much if god isn't real then real isn't because god created what's real according to him and christianity and without god there isn't reality so it's sick if god isn't real real isn't to him and also real isn't i guess when something's real it means like it's true i well, know like oh, what am i saying you know when you see something you're like damn that's real something like that and obviously it's hard named real um, so it could be a du double entendre because if a, I mean the song wouldn't be real according to Nate if God isn't real so real isn't sorry I'm going off I'm tired 
No, I'm real with it. Don't care if you're feeling it. I'm feeling it. You don't like it to deal with it. And if God ain't real, real is it? You just wonder why I existed. I exist in a world that's real different. And what you gonna be when you grow up, mate? I doubt they will get it. My life is a mess. Better watch your step when you step in it. Some of this brain is off limits. I'm off in a world you don't get. Cause you ain't never been in it in 10 minutes. I still couldn't explain what's inside my brain. Don't mess with it. I've been. Mm. Yeah, you know, he's saying here, some of a brain's off limit. I'm um, limits. I'm off in a world you don't get it because you ain't ever been in it. And he always says, you know, he like, what am I thinking? In Mansion, for example, um, he mentions, you know, he keeps a door locked and no one can get inside it. Um, so, pretty much, he's saying it's really hard to get into my life, and you're never gonna pretty much. Like he can't, he can't be part of his life because he finds it hard to make the connections and stuff. Cause you ain't never been in it in 10 minutes I still couldn't explain what's inside my brain Don't mess with it I've invested a lot of me inside these lines I'm just protecting them Everybody wanna hit a real version of life They don't get so sensitive when I say something a little bit wrong I yeah. drop my thoughts and they call it negative You wanna- That's so stupid, really I don't get hate on that sort of level. I get if you don't like the sound and such, but you can't deny that he's saying his raw feelings. And, you know, if you don't like it, you probably haven't been there. Like, you don't know what it's like, most likely. Get so sensitive when I say something a little bit wrong. I drop my thoughts and they call it negative. You want to know where my heart is? I stand out because I wear my garbage. I work my hardest. And every time I look into the mirror, I don't forget about where I started. Yeah, people told me he wears his own merch, so I presume that's what he means by I wear my garbage. Um, yeah, and I think I've seen photos of him wearing NF merch. So he wears his merch. Into the mirror, his don't garbage. About where I, started. I would love NF merch. <laughs> You know, he's here to be real, so if he's not being real, he may as well not be here. Oh! It was a dream. It was only just a dream. <laughs> Is it gonna crash then? Is he foreshadowing? <laughs> I don't know. Um, the entire video wasn't real. Good to know. Really enjoyed that. Um, it it was hard to keep up a little bit because, you know, I am new to hip-hop, so it sometimes feels difficult for me to catch bar after bar after bar, which is what he was doing. So, I think, um, I think I did okay. I don't like pausing as often as I did in this, um, in the middle of, like, bars, but... I had to do what I had to do, so I apologize. Um, it, it's an amazingly inspiring song, as always, from NF. Um, directed at haters, I presume, but he's also got that classic NF relatability in it that people can be like, yeah, I kind of feel the same, even though they might not be able to relate to the fame side of it. So he's just kind of venting his anger, his frustrations, but you can feel it, and he doesn't even, he still doesn't swear, you know. Even though this is like an angrier song, he doesn't swear, you know, that's his brand and he believes he doesn't need to swear to make good music and I agree. And it shows by the fact that he can do a song this angry and not be cursing every five lines. So mad props to him, mad props. Um, the next song we are doing, I believe is Overlord. Don't know when, you know, I'm not going to promise times anymore because my list is so full and I don't want to make promises that I can't keep. Hopefully soon though, next couple days maybe, um, but we'll get into that when I'm able to. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe, leave any comments down below with suggestions, recommendations, 
information just to say hello. I answer all messages pretty much. Um, if I don't, I'll get to it in a couple of days. I'm a bit lazy sometimes, but I'm doing my best to stay on top of messages for now. So, you know, I really appreciate any support you guys give. I also have a Twitter now that you can follow. It is at the toaster YT, um, or I have an email, which is also down in the description that you can email me on. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll catch you later.